Why is it so many times that women, after they get married, let themselves go? Why is it? Why do they do that? Here's how way too many women are. I got him now. The chase is over. Hey, that's where you're wrong. The chase ain't never over. The chase ain't never over. And by God, if he don't love me the way I look now, he ought to look at his own spare tire in the mirror. Now look, I'm not saying every woman can be the epic, the epic trophy wife of all time, like Melania Trump. I'm not saying that at all. Now, most women can't be trophy wives, but you, you know, like her, maybe you're maybe a participation trophy. I don't know, but all I can say is not everybody looks like that. Amen. Not everybody looks like that. But, but you don't need to look like a butch either. Hey, here's something you need to know. You need to know this. Men have a need for their women to look like women. A sweatpants don't cut it all the time, huh? Wearing flip-flops and, and uh, pajamas to Walmart, that, that ain't going to work. Ain't nothing attractive about that. It ain't. And, and when men want their wives to look good at home and in public. Can I get an amen? So what you just saw there was a pastor, an American pastor named Stuart Allen Clark, basically saying that women need to all aspire to be trophy wives like Melania Trump, Donald Trump's wife, and that they might not all be able to get that high, but they should be considered at least participation trophies to their husband. And that, you know, women, it's really their fault that their husbands cheat or that their husbands look at other women, because at the end of the day, once they get married, you know, ladies, they be, they be eating too many bonbons and they be doing all these sorts of things rather than working on being attractive for their husbands. My God, guys, isn't that just awful? Like, if you could make up a stereotypical man saying stereotypically awful things about women, and he's like, am I right, fellas? Like, I don't know if I could make that up. Like, that's like, that's like a real deal, but the guy thinks he's being clever, and the guy thinks that he's being insightful, and worst of all, he's imbuing this with a sort of spiritual ethic like it's a woman's christianly godly religious duty to be hot for her husband and of course and look i don't like to make fun of people's appearance i don't i really don't but i think in this case it bears pointing out that maybe the man making these claims isn't an adonis in his own right he's not necessarily a 10 he's not necessarily a nine even and so it's extra rich for this guy to be in front of a crowd of people saying like oh my god like ladies you got to be hot for your husbands or it's your fault if he mistreats you or ignores you or abandons you or is unfaithful to you and it's like look at you dude look at you dude like, if anyone's going to talk about people straying because of attractiveness or lack thereof, I would check on your wife to see what she's doing right now. Right? Like, let's be clear. And it gets worse. This clip, I didn't see it the first time when I saw this earlier, but this was part of the same sermon. Listen to this. If I was a woman, I'd want to be beautiful. I think that's what every... Every woman desires to be, is to be beautiful. I, I wouldn't want to just be beautiful, I'd want to be hot, you know, that's what I'd want to be. Uh, so let me ask you this, I've been wondering this for years. If beautiful women from the south are called southern bells, does that mean women, beautiful women from Mexico are called taco bells? I mean, is that... Is that... Is that so in ad addition to general hatred and dismissiveness of women, he throws women of color under the bus too, saying like, oh, if, if, if Southern Bells are beautiful white women, then Taco Bells must be beautiful women of color from Mexico. It's just, it's like, it's racism and it's misogyny all baked into one ugly, ugly, ugly pie. And like, this really is, I think, representative of a certain type of conservative Christianity, which is so deeply, deeply hateful of women. Now, this guy, to be fair, you know, I think he took a leave of absence 
And I think as a response further, the church has sort of suspended him. I don't think he's been formally fired, but they've said that for the time being, he won't be giving any more sermons. And they've tried to state that God views all of its creations, all of his creations as beautiful and as, as worthy of love. But like, I think they're trying to cover themselves because I've listened to how this guy talks here and how comfortable he was saying it. And I don't think this is the first time he said something like this. At the very least, this man needs to resign. And I think more broadly, right-wing conservative Christianity needs to take a good hard look at how it talks about women and how it talks to women, because I don't think this is healthy. And if you wonder why people in these communities often hate themselves when supposedly God loves everyone, listen to this jerk. 